Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at this beautiful gold cape. You can pause this video at any time to check you understand the words or to practice your pronunciation. So let's get started. The gold mould cape in the British Museum. This gold cape was found in a town called Mould in North Wales in 1833. Today you can see it in the British Museum in London. It was made between 1900 BC to 1600 BC. That means it is over 3600 years old. It was made as special clothing and we think it was only for special celebrations. It is made of one piece of gold and made for someone who was quite thin. It is likely this cape belonged to a woman. There are many rings of patterns that look like many necklaces. The cape covers the shoulders and top of the arms some people think that the patterns look like lots of beads and folds of clothing. The shapes include squares, ovals, circles and triangles. This time period was called the Bronze Age. It is called prehistory because in Britain we did not have any writing to tell us facts about that time. So sometimes we have to guess. Anybody who wears this cape cannot move their arms very easily. People think that this cape was not for every day, but just for special ceremonies. The patterns are similar to things found far away in France or Scotland. This tells us that even thousands of years ago, people were moving to new places, sharing ideas and buying and selling things. Let's take a look. There it is. Now I've got some questions for you. How would you describe the gold cape? Number two, what special occasions do you think people wore this cape? And number three, what special clothes do people wear for special occasions today? Now to help you answer these questions, we have here a list of verbs found in the text. Here you can see the verb in the infinitive, be, to be. This is how you find a verb in a dictionary. Here you have the third person, that's he, she or it in the present tense. So that's things happening in the present moment. He, she or it is. And in this column, we have how this same verb is used in the past simple. So he, she, it was. We've also got some useful words here. When something is 0% or 0%, impossible. A little bit more, not likely. Hmm, 50%, maybe. More than maybe likely and a hundred percent this will happen certain or this did happen or this does happen so let's take another look there we go please send us your answers to the questions and uh, we hope you enjoy this episode with speak street and look out for new ones coming soon. Thank you.